All right, this is part two. This is Professor Triplett, and we are going to just look at some of the things that you can do to make this model look a little bit better in this viewport. So as you saw, I just clicked on the settings, and you're going to get this whole setting thing come up, setting panel, and there we go. Your internet hopefully is faster than mine. And the first thing I want to do is go to my lighting and I'm going to turn the brightness down. So let's just get it like that. See, the reason why we don't ever want to get to a flat area, especially for 3D models for the most part, this is completely white and it looks completely flat. Unless you're going for some kind of like comic booky stylized type of thing, you typically don't ever want to go to a point where you're like completely uh, white and flat like you it's okay to have a little bit but you kind of want it you want it to look 3d so when you flatten stuff out it starts looking 2d sometimes you're, you're actually going for that but not all the time um, you can go ahead and uh, mess with uh, light intensity shadow bias that's gonna shadow bias is gonna like how close is the shadow um, how far away is it uh, this only comes into play with uh, certain things if like meshes are really close together or they're rent those shadows are running weird you might have to play with that um, you can also mess with around with this orientation which basically is just rotating the environment so we can get a different look from that um, you look at the shadow bias you can see what's happening here should probably be somewhere about right there so you see how the shadow now is touching for a second there, it was far away. That doesn't look right, and it should be touching that right there. So that's a little bit better. But well, we're getting some weird faceting that I don't like. I'm not going to worry about that right now. This is just to show off, um, you know, what you can do in here. Uh, the mat cap doesn't have the shadows. Looks a little bit different. Uh, you can play with the field of view. Um, you can mess with the materials. This is mat cap, of course. So um, you know your options are going to be a little bit different and sometimes this works you know this is what you how you want to show your model but a lot of times you might have textures on it and stuff like that so PBR is pretty much the the standard in, in games and film for showing this stuff at this point um, so it looks like they have post-processing filters and I wouldn't get too into this stuff for for this class but it could look nice for a final product um, Animations, of course, you can do it in virtual reality, um, but most of the time we're probably going to be just sticking between the lighting and the materials. And uh, let's see, the scene right here, of course, field of view, you know, you can play around with that. That's basically the camera settings, um, but I would leave it, you know, something that looks pretty run of the mill. 75 is, is pretty good. Uh, that's maybe even a little extreme, um, you know. Don't make it too crazy though, because then your stuff won't look right. It'll look weird. Um, you can turn the wireframe on by default or off. Uh, background, you can actually change your background. So um, you can come into here and, and show a different kind of background. So these are these are options that you know you can you can decide what you think looks good. But um, you know what you want to do is be able to see the model well. That's that's a consideration to take. Uh, so ultimately, that's where you want to make sure you're thinking about um, wireframe. I forgot you can actually change your wireframe's color. If you, I kind of like sometimes like these dark blue wireframes. And I don't know, you know, I can tell it. There we go. Maybe I need to go a little lighter. Something like that looks interesting. Okay. So that's the intro to Sketchfab. Um, there's one last part I wanted to show. And let's go back. I was going to say, do we want to leave? Yes, let's leave this. Okay, so we didn't publish this yet. Once you publish it, then you can actually... Um, so it wants an email verification. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel that. And I'm going to go and go into my, uh, my actual other account. So, uh, cause I don't want to, I'm going to just delete this dummy account 